High resolution signals are traditionally defined on triangle meshes through texture mapping. This involves two steps, parameterization of the mesh over an atlas of charts and sampling of the signal at the texels. In this work, we show how gradient domain processing can be performed directly in texture space. For instance, dampening gradients allows us to smooth texture detail and amplifying gradients allows us to sharpen it. There are several challenges with working in the texture domain. First, adjacent regions on the mesh may become separated in texture space. If we diffuse without accounting for connectivity, charts are smoothed independently, resulting in a piecewise smooth texture. Accounting for the connectivity, we get a texture that is smooth across chart boundaries. Another challenge is accounting for non-uniformity in the parameterization. Here we see an equirectangular map with significant distortion at the North Pole. Let's compare regions near the pole and the equator. Naive smoothing in the texture domain causes less blurring near the pole where the texels are more densely packed. Instead, metrical wear smoothing results in uniform blur. We address these challenges by defining a continuous function space over the texels, introducing metrical wear gradient domain operators, and solving the linear system using a fast multigrid algorithm. Given a texture atlas, we would like to associate continuous basis functions to the texels around the charts. While we do not use these for rendering, we need them to define the gradient domain operators. The texels include those interior to the charts and those around the boundary. For interior texels, we use the bilinear hat functions used by graphics hardware for rasterization, as these define continuous functions on the mesh. At the boundaries, however, these basis functions are clipped to the charts and are not continuous across seams. We propose new basis functions for boundary texels that resemble the bilinear functions but are continuous. To solve the gradient domain system, we use an iterative approach that updates the interior and boundary texels in different ways. For interior texels, the update is straightforward since neighbors lie within a fixed 3x3 window. This allows us to efficiently relax the interior texels in a parallel and memory coherent manner. For boundary texels, the neighborhood relations are more complicated. These texels are adjacent to nearby texels within the same chart, as well as distant texels in other charts. However, since the number of these texels is relatively small, we can update their values using a direct solver. We incorporate the solver within a multi-resolution framework. The multi-resolution hierarchy is obtained by placing each chart within its own grid and using the local grid hierarchy to define lower resolution texels. We use this hierarchy to design an efficient multi-grid solver. Our method supports a number of applications. We support localized sharpening and smoothing using a paintbrush interface. The user prescribes gradient modulation weights and the system interactively updates the texture by performing one multi-grid v-cycle at each rendered frame. The visualization shows the gradient weights at the top right with blue corresponding to smoothing and red corresponding to sharpening. Note that the process texture remains seamless across chart boundaries. We support geodesic distance computation using the heat method. Here, the user selects a point on the surface and the solver computes geodesic distances to all other points. We visualize distances using red to denote points closer to the source and blue to denote points further away. Note that the distances update smoothly and there's little lag between the motion of the cursor and the rendering of the distance function. We support stitching together multiple views of a static model. Naive copying of best view pixels reveals lighting variations across camera images and leaves undefined texels in regions not seen by any cameras. Stitching in the gradient domain, we obtain a seamless texture that captures the detail of the input. Our final application is line integral convolution, which visualizes a vector field by averaging a random texture over the flow lines. We do this by modifying the surface metric to shrink distances along the vector field and then performing anisotropic diffusion. Here we show results using the maximum principal curvature directions. Note that the curves are uniformly spaced and seamless across chart boundaries.